Um, hey, Jan, um, congrats on the move to uh, Wellington Phoenix. Uh, can you just tell us how the move came about? É, tá te dando parabéns a tua chegada na, no Wellington e como que essa transferência aconteceu para você. Uh, quero agradecer pela, né, por estar aqui hoje. Estou uh, muito feliz de estar em Wellington. Uh, fiquei muito feliz com o convite do clube. Espero poder corresponder à altura de, da, das expectativas aí e que possamos fazer um grande, um grande, um grande campeonato. He's very happy to be here, and uh, he thanks uh, uh, the, for the opportunity to be here, and uh, happy to join Wellington. And he also uh, uh, hope to to deliver to his, his high standard of football. Yeah, um, the club's first ever goal scorer was a Brazilian player. Does he know much about other Brazilian players who have played for the Phoenix before? He perguntou que um dos primeiros jogadores estrangeiro foi um brasileiro, se você sabe, um dos jogadores brasileiros que passaram pelo, pelo Phoenix, teve o Daniel do Botafogo. Isso, eu acompanho no Sagrado Clube o Daniel, é, vi que, que tinha um brasileiro aqui, já fiquei mais tranquilo, fiquei mais feliz de saber que brasileiros já passaram por aqui. É, he had the opportunity to, to see Daniel, Daniel, Daniel's court's name you know, on, the, on the Instagram of the club, and he's happy to see that some Brazilian already played for Wellington Phoenix in the past. And um, I just wanted to ask about the language barrier. Um, does he does he speak kind of any English? And how much of a challenge may that be um, adapting to a new language? Ele perguntou se você como é que está o inglês e que você acha que vai ser as dificuldades que você teria dentro de adaptando uma nova cultura. Fala, fala responde inglês. Não, I speak English. Ah, meu inglês ainda não não é o não é perfeito, mas ainda vou aprender muito aqui, né? Vim aqui para aprender também. E as informações que eu tenho do país e, e de Wellington é, são muito boas. Yeah, he said obviously he doesn't not speak English, but he had uh, he didn't say that, but he had opportunity to play in Turkey, where the main language was in English, but the, the communication was in English. So he learned that a lot, and he's here also to learn English and improve every day. Cool, thank you. I might jump in then if uh, if that's all right. Hi guys. Hi hi Jan. Welcome. Um, what what do you know about about Wellington Phoenix and and how much do you know about Wellington and and New Zealand? Ele te, te deu as boas vindas e quer saber o que você sabe do, do Wellington Phoenix e da cidade de Wellington. Uh, Thank you. Uh, tem informações muito boas uh, da, tanto da cidade tanto do país tanto do clube e é por isso que eu escolhi vir para cá por questão de, de boas informações. So uh, he did obviously when the name came about he done his research on the club and the city as well and he knows this the capital and that's the reason why also he he accept the offer not only for the club but also for the city as well you know it's one of the the most uh, like city in the world to live and uh, yeah he done his research obviously for the club on the club and on this in the city as well it's just like brazil don't worry um i, I just wanted to know as well whether uh are you bringing any family with you um and if not if you're leaving them at home how difficult is that to um to adjust without having family here é, seria muito difícil não trazer minha família, né? Meu filho tem oito meses e a minha esposa. Logo eles estarão aqui junto comigo e é, conhecendo a cidade e o clube Wellington e seremos muito felizes aqui no clube. So basically his family is coming. He has a, a baby, eight, year, eight month old uh, boy, and his wife is on the call uh, now. She's also joined the call, Gabriela. So without then it will be very hard. But as soon as he's settled in New Zealand in Wellington, he will he will organize them to come over and support him. That this yeah to make life easy. And they they he ensure he assures that he'll do really well with the support of the family. Okay, well, hi to Gabriela as well, and uh, I'll let someone else ask a question too. Thank you. Obrigado. <laughs> Obrigado. Um, I've just got a few more. Um, in terms of other Brazilian players in the A-League currently, are there any that he knows? 
Os jogadores estão na liga. Fala do menino do Santos. O, o Moresh, que está no Central Coast. Central Coast. É, conheci o, o Balmior, que estava no, no Sydney também. E conheço alguns que já passaram por aqui também. Currently, he knows uh, Moresh, the place for Central Coast. Uh, they used to play together at Pasco, a uh, Brazilian club from Rio de Janeiro. And uh, also, uh, he played with Alex, that uh, used to play for Sydney FC. And they played together Curitiba, yeah. yes. So that's also one of the... He asked about Alex, about Wellington, and so on. That's why I helped made him help to make the decision, yeah. Yeah, has he had a chance to... Um, as I think I think Maurice is back at Central Coast for another season. Has he caught up with him? Does he plan to while he's in Australia? Yes. Yeah, they've been talking via social media, but yeah, when the opportunity comes, they'll probably catch up. Okay, and can I just ask um, just a final question? You know, why now come to the A League? You know with you know your, your career you've obviously played a lot in brazil what was the reason for wanting to take on a new adventure and, and go to the phoenix ele perguntou por que a, a austrália ou wellington se você jogou em clubes grandes no brasil e que fez essa decisão é um que você acha é, sim joguei em muitos é, joguei em alguns clubes grandes do brasil mas é, é em wellington a conversa que eu tive com com o pessoal daqui, com o treinador, com as pessoas aqui, me fez é, criar uma expectativa muito grande de poder conhecer o, o, o país e o, o campeonato. E é por isso, um novo, um novo desafio para mim, né? Ele disse que, como você vê no seu resumo, ele jogou em in, in bons clubes no Brasil, como like Serie A, uh, e é uma oportunidade para um novo desafio para ele. And uh, and then after he done all his research and talking to Alex and others, so he says, well, this will be a good opportunity for for me to to you know launch my my international career." And uh, yeah, yeah. Is there anyone in the current Phoenix team that speaks Portuguese? Um, I don't know if Pojeda Krajev. Ele perguntou se tem alguém que fala português. Tem, tem, tem o But yeah, there is the, the Bulgarian player. They used to play in Portugal, so they're already speaking in Portuguese. And and Sean is trying Portuguese as well. And he, some of the players are also talking to him in Portuguese. Hello, you know, how are you? You know, they're learning, you know. So with um, Bojeda, um the Bulgarian, obviously he's a very similar player. Will that help those two have a connection on the field? The fact that they can both kind of speak the same language off it, do you think? Yes, definitely. And then also help him to, um, to, um, to play together and uh, communicate. And communication also help about some information during the game. Great, thank you. Is there anyone else who wants to jump on? No, cool, I think we'll wrap it up there. Thank you, um, Jan, and thank you, Milton. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Phil, thank you. Thank you, Sue. See you, thank you.